we need to talk about product strategy in the age of intelligence because it's different now. And I'm going to use a specific example from today where a new app came out that is going to displace the LLM to code market. I'm calling it now. So lovable.dev finally dropped on Product Hunt. I've followed it for a little bit and I tried it as soon as it came out. I gave it the same prompt that I'd seen Bolt struggle with because you want to eval with something difficult, right? And this thing zero shotted the entire classic game of Pong in 90 seconds with a five word prompt. I have never seen that from an LLM to code application. And it got me thinking, I am obviously as a consumer, super excited about this. I know a lot of people who are getting into the building space who need continual progression in the quality of these apps in order to successfully bridge their current non-technical skill set into a technical skill set. But if you're an app builder, this is a really tough place to be in because you can go from one day to the next and all of a sudden you're second or third or fourth place just because someone else figured out some tweak in the model somewhere and it can now infer better from vague prompts. It can now infer world modeling better. That was one of the things that I noticed with the Pong game with Lovable. It got the right angles correct and the bouncing correct that you get with a classic game of Pong. And Bolt just couldn't do that. I kept prompting and reprompting, and I just never figured it out. I gave Bolt GitHub code from a working HTML and JavaScript version of Pong. It still didn't figure it out. So this is one of those things where I have a lot of sympathy if you're in the building space. The only way that it really works in the age of intelligence to build product is to release quickly and demonstrate through releasing quickly that you have a phenomenal commitment to giving your customers the latest intelligence so that you earn their loyalty when something new and flashy comes along. And I will give credit to Bolt here. One of the things that they've done really well at is relentlessly improving since that initial launch, I guess it was a couple of months ago. One of the things in particular that they've noted and improved on is the ability to fix bugs. Now that wasn't my experience with Pong, but I have worked with other web apps with Bolt and it's worked really well. And I think that if you are going to be building in the intelligence space, you need to commit to continual improvement. We see the continual improvement from model makers. There's right now a leapfrog competition for the weekly model updates between Claude and Gemini at the top of the model boards. Every week it seems to switch around. And the point there is that most people think of these numbered models as static. And the reality is behind the scenes, they're getting smarter every day. The original chat GPT-4 ranks almost at 100 on the model boards now. And we're still using chat GPT-4, but it's been updated almost weekly ever since. And it's just so much better as a result. I ran a simulation in Claude around this idea of velocity driving value. And I think it's a really interesting result. So what I did was I took three different scenarios for a product team. I had releasing monthly, releasing bi-weekly, and I had releasing every three days. And I thought to myself, well, if you're releasing at these different cadences, your probability of success will change because you have less time to learn. And so you can have, a, say, a 5% probability of success if you're releasing every three days, 10% if you release every two weeks, 20% if you release every month. And I thought, okay, like intuitively, these things are going to kind of even out a little bit. We'll give them the same reward, but like they hit the reward less often if you ship more frequently. I think the frequent shipping wins. I don't know that it wins by a lot. I was surprised. So when you actually graph it out, monthly and biweekly look almost the same in terms of reward accumulation over a year. And by reward accumulation, I mean, imagine that your monthly ship is at a 20% probability and you get a hundred bucks if it comes up positive and you get nothing if it comes up negative. And you just repeat that exercise over the course of the year, you have 12 shots on goal. Biweekly, you have 24 shots on goal, roughly. 26, 24, anyway. This is why I have Claude do the math. And then every three days, it's many more shots on goal than that, but they're lower probability. 
So long story short, everybody makes progress, but only shipping insanely fast every three days results in significant accumulation. Shipping every three days was three times more valuable than both shipping by week, by, by, by weekly and shipping monthly. It was a stunning difference. And this is coming back around to what I'm saying with the value of shipping strategically in a model builder's world. You have to be able to ship quickly to earn the trust of your customers. There is no substitute. There's no other way around it. And if you're not shipping quickly, people are going to do what I did. They're going to go to lovable.dev and their eyes are going to get really big and they won't come back because this new thing has promised them something. And I think that's actually a situation where the pendulum may eventually switch back, but I wouldn't bet on you being around to get there if you wait on that. And what I mean is the pendulum right now is swung over toward impatience and high experimentation value because of the hype around AI. But people aren't finishing their projects. Most AI start projects never get to production, like 90 some percent never reach production. So people are just always in this learning moment. And the pendulum hasn't swung back to value, shipping, executing, and delivering. And that takes more sustained attention in one app that breeds customer loyalty. And we may yet see that loyalty trend come back and become a tailwind, but I don't know when it's gonna shift. And I wouldn't wait around for it. And in the meantime, the only thing you can do is ship very quickly. All right, best of luck and try lovable.dev, it's fun.